All right, I wanted to show you guys all the different pieces that came out of the kiln this week. I have a lot of fun stuff, a lot of experiments. Um, so first up, I've got a couple of pipes that I did. Um, I made these with imakestuff.art molds. Um, you just press in some slabs of clay and they make a box. Um, you could use them for a couple of different things. You can make pipes out of them as I did, or um, you can build animals or however creative you want to be. They're really, really useful. I also made um, five ring holders this time around. This is the first time I've made ring holders. I made them rather tall um, because a lot of people I know have big rings, big um, faces to their rings. So if you stack a couple of large rings on there, there'll be plenty of room. And these all are also some new um, glaze combinations that I haven't used previously. So it's kind of fun to see how those came out. This mug here is probably my favorite out of the whole batch. Um, it's just very, very colorful. This is also a new glaze combination that I tried. No decals on this one, um, just glaze. Next up is um, a set. So this is a sun and moon set. I really like the rustic way that these two turned out and then they have a really nice pop of bright blue on the inside this piece is also really fun um i really dig the vibrant lime green um it's like a greenish yellow i think the color i use is called pear like mushrooms this one doesn't have any decals either um it's just a drippy shimmery glaze Another new glaze combination that I used. I think I preferred the first one better, uh, but I do like the yellow on this one. This is the first time I've used um, decals that aren't black. So these are de decals are blue. I thought um, using some yellow would be a nice contrast. I'm happy with how that came out. This one would have been a really cool piece. It's supposed to be a lighthouse resist, um, but the glaze dripped over it and it dripped over um, the ship's wheel on the back, unfortunately. I like how it looks like fog, um, but I'll probably have to reglaze that. This one's a special order. Um, again, really happy with this one as well. Um, they requested some horse decals, or this is actually a, a vinyl resist, um, and it has some really nice, interesting glaze combinations on the inside. I did a second one um, just for fun. This is kind of the inverse of the previous one. And another one that I really like the sort of rustic feel to it. This piece is uh, sun and moon and some planets. It's hard to see, but it's a sparkly black glaze on that one. This one's a little under the sea motif. You can see some fish schooling. I really like these decals and the, a really nice blue cobalt finish. This one also has a blue cobalt inside. Um, and then the outside is called uh, wrought iron. So it's kind of a matte, rusty black color. It's pretty cool. Here's another special order. Um, this is a vase. The requester wanted two paw prints on it. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, the paw prints are pretty clear and crisp with their glaze lines. And I really like how colorful um, the top glaze combination turned out. Here we have more fish. This one is um, some cobalt blue, and then I also used some of that raw iron on it, and I, I like that uh, 
combination together. This is another experiment for me. This is um, my first attempt at something called slip trailing. Um, I like the way that this one turned out. It reminds me of like a 1920s flapper dress and um, I like the way the glaze broke over the texture. This one was the first time I've used elephant decals. I like the color of the green glaze, but I didn't love how much it ran, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use that glaze combination again. This piece, really, really beautiful with the way the reds, reddish and purple came together. However, I forgot to remove the vinyl resist decals before I fired it. And when they burnt off, they burn off uneven and it made a mess. So this piece, unfortunately, is going to have to be reglazed, very similar to the lighthouse piece. This was um, an attempt at something called Scurfito, where you carve out an image. This um, is an image that my daughter drew. And I just absolutely adore this tie-dye and bright pink color um, and it, some yellow on here that's really nice as well. This is another runny glaze, um, but it's pretty, so I'll probably use it again even though it does run. This piece, um, I really like how the pastel colors came out. This is a rainbow vinyl resist. And I like that color um, pink in there as well. It's, it's just a really nice mellow vibe to this mug. Here's a little tumbler. Um, this is my husband's favorite color combination. It's satin matte black and something called power turquoise. I'm going to make more tumblers trying to do a beer and wine event. Here's some chicken decals. These are always um, very popular. And I think um, this glaze is interesting. It's got kind of a texture to it. It's, um, it feels nice in the hand. And this last piece is another scurfito um, of a drawing that my daughter did. And I like the way that the blue sort of umbrae is together. And then inside we've got a nice peach color.